Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. I'm still trying to figure out how EA managed to make Level Up Team 2 so good, but at the same time, so bad. I want to talk about what I mean by saying that, and of course, cover all the craziness that happened yesterday with Level Up Team 2 on the market, SBC's objectives, look forward into today's potential content, and more market drop-offs on a few cards, and a very early warning of something that is still coming, that is out there coming, that we need to be wary of. So if you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up on it, and of course, subscribe if you are new. Now, let's start from the top yesterday and go through a quick content overview of everything that dropped. First of all, a little surprise yesterday for one aspect of objectives, but we'll start with the probably last set of XP that we might be getting. Level up three. Week two of level up has arrived. Guys, this might be legit the last XP uh, as a set that is dropped because the season ends this coming week. There are only how many five days left of the season to get to level 40. I know some of you guys are still cranking through that to get XP. So that's one of your last chances to get that XP there. We also had a cup. We have a cup back level up cup. It's just kind of like all the cups we had during team of the season. You have to use a team of the season or sorry, you have to use a level up player inside your starting lineup inside the cup five games a day. Same as team of the season basically. Now the one thing I will say is a lot of you guys were tweeting me about this yesterday. Be careful if you're playing these cup games because I think if you have a certain card or two inside of your team, like some people are not getting credit for playing all of the games uh, and they're not getting the wins or even the played matches. It's not counting in the objective. Like it's somehow messed up or glitched. So maybe just double check uh, after you play your first game that uh, it's accounting for you. So I don't know what's going on there. Maybe it's like the premium level up players do not count and only the regular level up players do. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but that's just something to kind of watch out there. I know some of you guys were having issues with that. Now, all of the big objectives, right? Of course, we have the big level up your game two set with 15 different players dropped inside of here. And this is what I'm talking about. Some L's and some W's. And I want to start with the good, right? Let's start with the W's. Guys, I think we had the absolute best level up promo card of the entire two weeks yesterday uh, and on this game right now, and that is Yusuf Atal. You get his 92 rated card off the market. You play one game, get 15 assists with through balls, and you have yourself a 93 premium shape, uh, premium, premium level up. I almost said shapeshifter. I'm used to saying premium shapeshifter after the last three weeks, but Premium level up, Yusuf Atal, four star, five star, high medium. He can play all down the right side and as a center mid as well. Absolutely mental card and so easy to do. This is by far the best card in the level up promo, in my opinion, especially now because his price has dropped off so much. He is only 120 thousand coins this guy was 400k in the first hour everybody got this guy done right away that wanted to get him done uh and then sold him off his price absolutely tanked and now he's super cheap at 120 thousand coins which makes sense because he's very very packable as well i think that's the biggest w from yesterday now a lot of the other w's that were released tiago jallo all you have to do is not concede more than three goals in 10 separate matches that's so easy no player requirements just buy this uh buy the tiago jallo 90 rated off the market Put it in your team for a few games while you're playing squad battles, and boom, you can get that one done really easy and get yourself a 93 card that actually looks pretty spicy. That's a really decent card right there. A lot of good center backs that were dropped yesterday. I would say Kalulu is another one that I would rate as a really solid one. Only five matches with three French players. You can combine that if you're doing Chalmeni as well, if you're doing Fakir from last week. There are a couple ones you can combine in here. Not a ton, but a few of them. Berardi is another one that I think is a big-time W. He's five-star, five-star, medium-medium, which I'm not a huge fan of, but really, really good stats and only... 10 separate matches um, with five Italian players, so pretty easy to do him there. And then uh, I'd say Kyle Enrique is another one that's a W, three Brazilians, five matches. A lot of these like five matches ones I think are nice. But this Raul, I think Raul might be one of the coolest ones as well. Maybe not as meta as the Shalhanoglu from last week, but Raul having three different dynamic images. That's what this player pick is. All three cards are exactly the same. It's just what dynamic image do you want? And uh, I mean, whatever one you take, I would say you got to get this guy done. It's super duper easy to do. Um, and yeah, that's a really fun one from EA. Having some fun with the Raul Jimenez dynamics right there. So those are all the W's, right? And of course, you, you can talk about the big boy cards like the Goretzka, the Varane, the Martinelli uh, as W's. But 
I think that a couple of them are actually L's. And the first one I want to talk about is Martinelli. I mean, yeah, 99 pace, 98 dribbling, and he does always play good in game. I get that. 99 aggression as well. This card's probably going to play pretty good in game. But 90 shooting, 90 passing, that's a little bit lower than what I would like. And really what I have a problem with here is I got a problem with the price of this card on the market. Three and a half million coins. I don't think that card is worth near that at all. I feel like this should probably be about 2 million coins on the market to then go and get his 96 rated version. It is 20 games, so it is a bit of a grind. Um, and yeah, it is a good card, guys. I understand that. But I think he is very overpriced. I mean, look, his max price is 4.8 mil. He's still 3.5 mil. We're going to talk about it. A lot of these cards, as we saw last week, are in for massive price drops today after the first day that they are in packs. So I think that one's an L. And then I'm also going to say Darwin Nunez is an L, man. I mean, the stats in this card or what make it an L for me. I know this is not the upgraded version, and I know that the 93 is 5-star, five 5-star. Five I get that, right? 5-star, five 5-star, five this Nunez is pretty cool um, because of that, but I think some of the stats are a little bit behind the curve. Even some of the shooting stats, 92 shooting, and having no other uh, traits, they didn't give him like outside the foot shot or flare or anything like that, extra on top of the card, only 90 dribbling. I mean, a little bit critical here, maybe. Um, and it is 15 games, so it's not the worst. It's also for Premier League players, so it's easier to combine that while the other ones require a lot of nationalities. This one requires Prem, so you could come up with some fancy ways to get that done, but also you have to have a million coins. This guy was extinct at 1.4. Uh, I think it's just the hype for Darwin Nunez, honestly, with this one. But that one's to me, like, I think we need bigger upgrades on the, the shooting and passing on Martinelli and Nunez, and I'm just a little disappointed with some of their prices, right? Um, I think those two prices don't make sense sense to me. Goretzka, if you compare him to Renato, he just got a price range update. He was extinct at 2.9. Oh my goodness, he is dropping four and a half million coins. That's kind of crazy to me that he has dropped off that much um, from being extinct at 2.9. I mean, 2.9 was too low for sure, but I would think I was hoping this or expecting this Goretzka to be somewhere around like five mil and he's even now under that, which is pretty crazy. I'm sure it's a lot of people that are just wanting to sell their card and to get out of it that bought the card when they were, you know, sniping it when it was extinct. But some of the prices of this team, I think, are a bit high. And that's kind of where my L's are, are kind of being, I guess, factored out of. Now, SBCs, we have one more player to talk about. That is Ferran Torres. And I'm rating this one as a W, especially because the SBC is actually really good value. Coming in, I believe at about 115 or 120,000 coins, 110K for this Ferran Torres card. The 92 is not too bad for that price, but then all you have to do is go out and play a few games and you get a really, really nice 94 rated Ferran Torres as well. So for any Barca fans out there, um, if you need these links to your team, if you need this kind of player, I like they gave him the five-star skills, um, 99 attack positioning, pretty nice card there. I mean, you compare that to, not he's definitely not on the same level as Nunez, but you compare that to Nunez for 116k and and 20 games, um, you know, paying one mil and doing 15 games to this Nunez, you know, for cards that are yes different, but Ferran Torres is right up there with him. You know, I don't know. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I mean, you can let me know if you disagree down in the comments, especially if you're a Liverpool fan. It's okay. I'm not trying to rat on just Liverpool players, but I just think that uh, that um, Ferran Torres is actually really really. Nice. Now, apart from that, we didn't have any more SBCs yesterday and kind of it actually kind of went down like we mentioned in yesterday's video where we just needed more SBC content to make it hype. Since there was not a lot yesterday, it just kind of felt like there was, you know, it just kind of felt like an okay content day. Yes, I know there's a lot to grind. There's a lot of games to go play if you're trying to get these level up cards for sure. Uh, and it didn't help that the Team 2 pack weight is really, really not good. Even for some of the lower tier cards. I opened up, uh, I think like not a ton of player picks yesterday, but I opened, some, on, opened up some on my account, opened up some fodder packs. 83.25s and 85.25s that we opened, man, I mean, we got one or two good cards for a couple people, but there was just a few Tiago Jalos, one Atal, um, and just not a lot of really good pack weight for this team, which is a bit unfortunate, um, but they are definitely getting supplied on the market as we kind of come into the early Saturday hours. I mean, Goretzka at four and a half mil, that, wow, that's way low than where he was. His price range update, I think, was nine mil, nine and a half million coins, so he's quickly dropped, but... Um, you know, you compare that to Renato, and that's that's one of the reasons why I actually sold Renato. And if we continue talking about the market a little bit, a lot of these level up cards from Team One are actually down as well. Like they had some crazy price drop offs yesterday, they had some bounces, but now they're back down even lower. Um, and I'm a little surprised by how far, especially this Alfonso Davies, has fallen. Now, again, the whole premise of this promo is you buy this card 
to then go complete the objective to then upgrade it and get the new one and then the old one just becomes irrelevant right and i think a lot of people must have been waiting to do davies until yesterday because he went down a bunch from 800k down to 630 he bounced back to 700 and then just absolutely fell off a cliff he is now 480,000 coins you can't really do him and Goretzka at the same time but I have to imagine that now since Goretzka is on the market this Davies is still one of the best left backs in the game if not the best left back um, so you know I actually picked up some Davies tonight at about 450 just because I saw his price go so low I could see him rising up a bit this morning as could I maybe see Werner rising up a little bit but probably where you're going to see the biggest fluctuations and again it's going to you're going to have to be careful with these but the biggest fluctuations you're going to see today on cards going up and cards going down are going to be with the team to level up cards. Last Saturday, I don't know if you guys remember, there were some crazy fluctuations where a lot of cards went up early Saturday morning and then they absolutely got destroyed later in the day on Saturday. I expect that same thing's going to happen again today. Chameni, 2 million coins. He was 3 mil. That card is kind of staring at me right now and saying, mm, that's getting interesting. Um, Atal is only 120,000 coins, as we pointed out. But again, you can get him done in one game. So I could expect to see a guy like Atal maybe go up like 10, 20 K today, but since so many people are trying to snipe this card and I think expecting him to go up because it is a tall, like guys, I would not be surprised if this use of a tall ends up being somewhere around 75,000 coins or at least under 100k for sure later today on Saturday. I mean, yeah, this guy's got the hype, but again, it's so easy to get the 93. Remember how fast Fakir dropped off last week? This guy's gonna drop off super duper fast as well. So I would really, really be careful on these prices for these for these guys but if you time it right there's going to be some really good flips in there i think nunez i think chow many just watch their prices early this morning if you're catching this video right away and then if you're not uh definitely catch these prices and watch them later on because there's going to be fluctuations every single day like we saw last weekend if you want a little bit of a refresher now footpin has got so much great data on it you can go back and see like look at alfonso davies you could click the 14 days hourly graph and you can see last friday he went down to 1.1 he went back up in the early Saturday hours to 1.8, and then all day Saturday, dropped, 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 all the way down um, into content time. He went back up once more, and then look how much he dropped uh, throughout the day, Saturday, Sunday night, and Sunday morning, or Saturday night into Sunday morning from 1.5 mil into Sunday night being 600K. So there's going to be some pretty sizable drop-offs today. It's just going to depend on what card, so just be careful with those and if you're playing the games like you see me i sold renato right i sold renato i bought him for 5.6 last night i bought him too early uh but i sold the card because i knew i wasn't gonna i was not gonna be able to play any more games uh at least in the near future from where i'm recording this video at least like a couple hours so goretzka is going down a lot chalmeni is dropping a lot those are two brand new midfielders i said i'm taking the cash on renato davies is dropping Werner is dropping kdb is dropping i was like all right i'm gonna take the cash and just pick him up next time that I go to play. So that's kind of the market in a nutshell right now. Other than that, like shapeshifter cards, I was just looking through like Mares and some of these other guys, the market's really steady. And that's a good thing for what we're going to talk about right near the end of the video in relation to what's coming next, because there's not as much panic there, but I think there is going to be some here pretty soon. Now let's look at today's content first, before we get into that, we're talking about a 90 plus icon player pick that is expiring today finally get this sbc out of here man ea don't even think about releasing this sbc okay something new something different please an icon player pick and if you could maybe up the rating 92 plus icon player pick 93 plus right give us more of the promo icons less of the primes primes are outdated they've been in this game for a long time or maybe make it like a one of four and up the rating or just a promo icon pick maybe shapeshifter icons will make their way into player picks or a pack today i do not know but this sbc is expiring so i hope there's something new there might not be the 81 plus player pick is expiring as well but one thing we've seen recently is icon SBCs coming out on Saturdays it could be today it could be tomorrow that we get another one of these but in that case we got to talk about fodder because guess what it is actually dropping a little bit now not all fodder is down like crazy 86s are about 8,000 coins yesterday they were above nine now they're they were actually down to about 8k they're still chilling right around that 8k range uh 88s you know they're not that low 14k is actually not that low for where they were previously they were 15k yesterday 13,000 coins ish 
I mean, if we don't get the icon pack today, you're going to see these prices drop down even further. It's more so some of the higher tier cards and team of the season cards that I'm seeing that are dropping down a good amount. Salah is 21,000 coins after I believe these guys were like 24 during the week. He was even 23 yesterday. So I would definitely keep a watch on some of your team of the seasons and some of your fodder. If you want to go for it, it's not a bad idea to do a little bit of a club stock, not necessarily go all out, but do a little bit of the club stock on the higher tier for this week because this week... Um, is our last week of this level up promo and we've got another promo com by the name of footies coming up next and i'm a little scared about fodder in, in terms of the higher tier because of re-release special cards for like best of batches the stuff we talked about basically two weeks ago with footies is going to start coming up again right and that's going to i think uh start to really become prevalent in the coming days maybe monday tuesday wednesday so fodder this week as long as we get an icon sbc should still do okay in the short term between now and between monday tuesday wednesday um but i would just again keep that in mind about that sort of thing upcoming. I would still do a club stock. I picked up some 91s and just so that I'm ready to go. Uh, but I think that all of the middle to high tier fodder, maybe 89s even as well, could be a good look. It just depends on what sort of SBC they drop. Now, one SBC we know 100% is coming today is the Martin Terrier level up um card because again it says here in the game thanks ea july 15th which is today level up martin terrier three league one players five separate matches you get a 93 rated card can't tell if it's five star or five star um i guess maybe if i went to concepts and put it in a club it might be but he's not out yet so i can't see uh what the sbc is going to be like probably going to be similar to uh the one that we had last week i forget who the guy was we had on saturday last week but it was pretty cheap pretty easy to do and craftable at the very least to go and complete his SBC, and then you'll be able to upgrade his card there. Other than that today, I'm not really expecting a ton. Make sure you're doing your daily login. Uh, Saturdays are usually pretty quiet. And uh, yeah, it's probably just going to be, if you're paying attention to the market, mostly a pretty active day for prices on the market today than anything else. Now, let's talk about a couple things to end this video off. First of all, I feel like we have a daily dose of EAFC news every single day. This is it for today. Uh, first of all, EAFC direct communication. They've updated and branded. I wonder if they're not going to tweet about FIFA 23 compensation situations now um, and just give out compensations and not tweet about it because it's now you know, EA Sports FC, not FIFA. I don't know. That's just tinfoil hat theory. But we have some upcoming deep dives, information and news about gameplay, uh, career mode, match the experience, ultimate team, and clubs, aka pro clubs. Now, in my opinion, this they say July. I think this is going to start next week. I think next week, in the middle of the week, whether it's Tuesday or Wednesday, I think we are going to be getting some gameplay news and info. So two weeks left in July, two full weeks. I think we're going to get two weeks of information there. And then it might be just one piece of info per week, which, guys, this is probably going to unlock some pitch notes, right? We always talk about pitch notes in the summer heading into a new game. We're going to learn a lot about each of these. There's going to be a lot of things to deep dive into to talk about and information to go over here in the coming weeks. So that's something to watch out for. We'll be covering it, of course, when it does drop. And the last thing I want to talk about is I said it earlier. We mentioned that F word, right? Footies, which we were talking about in stream today. Think about it. This might be the last ever footies, guys, because the foot abbreviation is no longer being used. What are we going to have next year? Footies? With no F, just ultimate team, footies. Like, it sounds weird to say and to think about. But we got to start thinking about footies, man. And if you've got cards in your team, in your club, remember all the panic that we had last time uh, for the upcoming footies promo? It was just a short couple of weeks ago. And, uh, yes, it did kind of coincide with the tradable tots pack being dropped in the game, which is when we saw all these cards absolutely drop off a cliff but we started talking about footies back here um kind of in june honestly and we saw these prices drop off and then they absolutely nosedived but some of the same stuff is going to start to happen with probably shapeshifters um even though shapeshifters are not going to be released in packs in the first batch of footies i would imagine with that most likely being our next promo i, I don't really see anything else um happening between you know, this and footies is probably going to be boom straight into footies after this for like three or four weeks. And then we're going to be into August. They might run preseason and then boom, we're into September in the new game. Um, but with that hype probably starting to build, this is the very early warning for footies. Maybe you start to think about if you have a guy like a, uh, who could drop off a lot? You know, Rudiger re-released re in packs. Mares could be dropping a decent amount. It's some of the middle tier guys um, that are still holding some decent prices that I would be the most worried about. Maybe Neuer, maybe Richarlison, um, maybe Anthony Martial. Some of those guys are pretty rare still. 
But, you know, maybe Ugo Yuris, who's like almost a million coins right now. He's up a lot. Klosterman, uh, who I'm surprised hasn't dropped a bit more considering Davies has gotten so cheap. If you have any of those guys in your team, because the shapeshifters are probably holding their value the best out of just about everything right now, I would be careful with those. And then also some of the team of the seasons too. Maybe uh, De Bruyne, Teo Hernandez, Delict, Some of those guys that are still maintaining somewhat decent values in team of the season cards as well. Or other promo cards. I mean, even team of the years guys, right? Team of the years are probably going to be one of the first special cards re-released back into packs. I would be very careful with these. A guy like um, Hakimi. Actually, is Hakimi down? Um, is Hakimi down after the Atal was released yesterday? 980k. I wondered about this. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. He, yeah, he went from 1.04, had a low price of 920. But, you know, cards like this, Hakimi hasn't dropped off that much. He's just been on a slow decline. He's going to, like, get cut in half if he gets re-released in packs during footies. That's the sort of thing we're going to be careful for and watch out for. So I'm not saying you have to sell right now, but I'm just saying that is coming, putting it on your radar. And I would say just be careful and start to think about it if... Um, that is something that concerns you and your ultimate team. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. Hopefully you have some good coin flips and some good progress on those level up cards today. If you are grinding, best of luck doing that. I will see you guys in another video tomorrow. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you do. It's been Nate Foot Account. See you guys there. Peace out.